You are looking live at the land of extreme, South Philly, the city of brotherly love, as we approach the Wells Fargo Center here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for the first SmackDown of the 2024-2025 season, the SmackDown after WrestleMania. But before we get to tonight's events, we gotta take you back to just under two weeks ago, WrestleMania Saturday, when the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, took on the ring general, Gunther, for the World Heavyweight Championship, a rematch that was anticipated since Survivor Series back in November. And what a war it was. As you can see, McIntyre stopped at any and all costs to try to keep down the ring general, a task easier said than done. And in this rematch that McIntyre waited 104 days to compete in, he was reminded firsthand just why Gunther has been so dominant and just why Gunther walked out of WrestleMania Saturday, still the World Heavyweight Champion. But after the bell, the landscape of SmackDown changed forever. With the return of the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, for the first time in over two years, Roman Reigns walked down the aisle at WrestleMania and confronted the ring general Gunther, which led to another war kicking off in AT&T Stadium, one that left Roman Reigns standing on his own two feet and the World Heavyweight Champion staring up at the lights. Roman Reigns making an emphatic statement back at WrestleMania, but what will Roman Reigns have to say? He is in the Wells Fargo Center, and he plans to address the WWE Universe live inside the squared circle here tonight. Roman Reigns returns to SmackDown. And also back in Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania, two SmackDown stars successful in their pursuit of victory. Braun Breaker with the win over the Rated R Superstar Edge and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes putting the pass behind him and the Apex Predator Randy Orton. Well, their roads lead to Philadelphia here tonight as Cody Rhodes is set to lock horns with Braun Breaker. These two men very familiar with each other's game. They reignite that rivalry right here on SmackDown. But we are set to kick things off tonight here in the Wells Fargo Center with the brand new WWE Tag Team Championship on the line. Tonight's challengers, Master Chad Gable, the big man of the Alpha Academy, the number one guy, Otis. And these are certainly two deserving and possibly upcoming champions here on SmackDown. Well, let's take a look at what happened back on WrestleMania Sunday. It was the finals of the SmackDown portion of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And of course, the matchup that crowned the new WWE Tag Team Champions, exclusive to the blue brand. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar of the Latino World Order taking on Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. And what an amazing tag team matchup it was. Credit where credit's due on both sides of the field, but at the end of the bell, it was Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. The team going by A-Town, down under, leaving as the 2024 SmackDown Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners and your brand new WWE Tag Team Champions. Well, some deserving challengers inside the squared circle here in South Philly. But approaching the aisle is the Aussie icon and one half of your brand new WWE Tag Team Champions, Grayson Waller. But I'll tell you, you gotta wonder where all four of these men are gonna end up in just a couple of weeks. As we found out on Monday Night Raw, the 2024 draft lottery is approaching and is gonna be live on Raw Monday night, April the 8th. It is a live premiere event taking place at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Superstars from Raw and SmackDown are gonna be in the building, but who is going where? We're gonna find out Monday night, April the 8th, as the landscape of the WWE will drastically be shifted. Could Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, champions or not, remain here on SmackDown, or will they be taking their talents to Monday Night Raw? All remains to be seen what is gonna happen in just a few weeks time at the WWE Draft Lottery. 
Alpha Academy, the challenge await. Grayson Waller has made his way down the aisle, but we will not hear a bell until the arrival of the young, brash, and certainly talented Austin Theory. A former WWE Champion, the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament winner. And now Theory gets to call himself one half of the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners here on SmackDown. And of course is holding a brand new piece of hardware. I'll tell you what, it has been an amazing season opening week. We want to thank you for all the support and for all of our new viewers. Just remember, we are here every single Monday night, every single Friday night. PLEs each and every month. Of course, Velocity on TikTok every single Wednesday just kicked off this past week. Plenty of action taking place inside of that squared circle in a universe like no other. And Austin Theory certainly looking to be the center of the SmackDown universe here tonight. Well, I gotta be honest, I am amped up. It is gonna be a high stakes night here on SmackDown. Cody Rhodes set to lock horns with Brom Breaker, a matchup you gotta believe is gonna have future world championship implications. And of course, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, back on the blue brand for the first time in a number of years, but the WWE Tag Team titles are on the line. Let's send things down the ring for your official match introductions. The following contest is a tag team match the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 532 pounds. Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy. And their opponents at a combined weight of 426 pounds. The team of Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Certainly a big fight feel here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first SmackDown of the 2024-2025 season. Kicking off with the WWE Tag Team titles on the line. Your senior official, Charles Robinson, ready to call it right down the middle. Alpha Academy were a part of that Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They made it to the semifinals after defeating the OC in the opening round, were turned away by Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar of the LWO. But a new opportunity emerges tonight as the bell has sounded, and the big man, the number one guy, Otis, kicking things off with the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller. Look at the strength right out of the gate by Otis. Of course, we want to talk about the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. The winners, Theory and Waller, making their way through the LWOs, Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde in the first round. Eric and Ivar of the Viking Raiders in the semis. And then, of course, turning away Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio back at WrestleMania Sunday. Whether you like the attitudes of Grayson Waller or Austin Theory or not, the smug, yet brash, young superstars certainly producing results over the last month and change here on Friday Night SmackDown. Making their way through the tournament, winning the finals on the biggest show of the year. You could not discount the effort and certainly the end results for Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. They have got their work cut out for them tonight. Alpha Academy, no team that is gonna lie down on the path to success for Theory and Waller. Otis just using his size and strength to his advantage that time, as he should. Ragdoll in Austin Theory, and we got a cover here in Philadelphia. Austin Theory getting the shoulder up is, I'm sure it's gonna take more to keep a town down under, down and out tonight, as we saw firsthand back at WrestleMania, but Otis and Chad Gable ready to go the distance. Chad Gable, somebody who has been chasing championship gold for quite some time here on SmackDown. You remember back in the fall, Master Gable was challenging Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. A failed pursuit for Gable on well, not one but two occasions. But Chad Gable hungry to get championship around his waist and bring it to the Alpha Academy locker room as Gable taking down Grayson Waller. Otis 
We're going to divide and conquer. Take it out, Austin Theory at ringside. Alpha Academy understand the situation at hand. The championships are on the line. It is a new season here in the WWE, and they are willing to stop at absolutely anything to win the championships here tonight. Oh, but Austin Theory changing the game. Float over DDT, dropping Gable right in his crown. Look at the agile. The agility, we should say, of Austin Theory as he goes through the ropes of the drop kick. And that is the talent that we talk about of the young Austin Theory. That is why he has seen so much success over the last two years here in the WWE since his main roster debut. Championships on Raw and SmackDown tournaments being won. Austin Theory putting together an impressive list of accolades over the last couple of years. As the old adage goes, it's one thing to get to the top. It's a whole other thing to stay there. A-Town down under, maybe on top of the SmackDown Tag Team Division momentarily, but it could change in a blink of an eye. And it could change right here tonight in the Wells Fargo Center. If Chad Gable and Otis got anything to say about it, there goes Gable taking down Theory. As we mentioned, Gable and Otis turned away. A tag team that has held gold all around the globe, that being Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows of the OC. If they can beat those two men in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, who's to say they can't beat A-Town down under? It may be a short reign at the top for Theory and Waller as Otis heading to the top. Look out below! Oh, Austin Theory getting out of harm's way. There's a stacked night of action here in Philadelphia still to come. Cruiserweight action on hand as the Irish ace J.D. McDonough goes one-on-one -on -one with Wes Lee. Not the first time he's seen action throughout this week. We're going to talk about it later on here on SmackDown. And of course, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, returns to Friday Night SmackDown for the first time in over two years and plans to address the WWE Universe, and I'm sure the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther as well. An awesome night on hand here in Philadelphia. The tag team titles are on the line. The action continues up next as we return to Friday Night SmackDown. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Brawl, and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday, only on TikTok. We are back live here in Philadelphia. Chad Gable on the verge of tapping out Grayson Waller, but it looks like Gable is going to go back to the drawing board. This is Friday Night SmackDown, the first SmackDown after WrestleMania, and the first SmackDown of the season as it is season opener week here in the WWE. It has been an action-packed week at that. We are kicking things off tonight in the Wells Fargo Center with the WWE Tag Team titles on the line as Chad Gable is revving up the engines for the challengers. Deserving challengers at that, and Gable and Otis may be leaving the city of brotherly love as the brand new WWE Tag Team Champions of this action keeps up. Gable doing a number on the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller. But now the number one guy, Otis, coming off the top, but it was a misstep. Otis going uncharacteristic there, and it came back to bite him. And now the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller, just trying to get a town down under, back in control. Alpha Academy, all the talent in the world, could easily win the WWE Tag Team titles tonight. But if Grayson Waller and Austin Theory got anything to say about it, it's going to be a disappointing trip to Philadelphia. Grayson Waller may have just turned Otis lights out. Chad Gable breaking things up. That could have been all she wrote. Grayson Waller with that stunner. Remember, that is the same maneuver that pinned Ivar in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The matchup that allowed Fury and Waller to punch their ticket to WrestleMania. Oh, just gonna find his way back into the driver's seat. Grayson Waller chopping out those tree trunk legs of the big man. 
Otis going to the opposite corner, gonna make a tag to Chad Gable, and a tag made to Austin Theory, fresh legs on both sides, will it pay him dividends? Chad Gable exploding like a rocket, trying to take down Austin Theory. Don't think he got all of that somersault kick, and it comes back to work against him as Austin Theory off the backbreaker. I'll tell you what, Theory and Chad Gable, that's a one-on-one -on -one match I'd love to see down the line. But as for this tag team matchup, that may be all she wrote. Into the pinfall once more. Charles Robinson calling it right down the middle, and he calls Otis, breaking things up before the three. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, couple of close calls there. Can't allow themselves to get frustrated. But the veteran in Chad Gable and the number one guy, Otis, may just find a window of opportunity to come back and bite him. Gable crawling to the corner and making a tag to Otis. Alpha Academy trying to keep each other fresh here tonight. However, Austin Theory, whether you love him or hate him, may be better than he's ever been. One thing we've talked about with Theory over the last few months, as he's seemingly gotten his head on straight, has stopped getting in his own way, has started focusing on the results, way more inside of the squared circle. And clearly the results have paid him dividends as he walked away from WrestleMania, one half of the tag team champions. As Austin Theory continues to get more mature inside of the squared circle, he continues to learn from his own mistakes. Will it be enough to keep down Otis as Otis exploding now with the Lariat? And going for the headbutt, but Alpha Academy really struggling to get going here. Austin Theory trying to create some distance. Theory and Waller know that their tag team titles are in massive jeopardy tonight. You know, we are just about under two weeks removed from WrestleMania Sunday, but you gotta wonder if there's any looming, nagging injuries from Theory and Grayson Waller. It was a hell of a matchup at WrestleMania. Theory and Waller may not be 100% here tonight. All speculation, you never know what's going on. With the tag team champions is Austin Theory stomping out the heart and look at the strength, A-Town down! Incredible maneuver by Theory to hoist up the heavyweight and that'll do it. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller continue to ride a wave of momentum that I don't know if anybody is gonna be able to crash down. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners holding on to their brand new WWE Tag Team titles here tonight in the season opener on SmackDown in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A great effort by Alpha Academy, but the championships remain with A-Town down under. Well, it's back on WrestleMania Sunday where SmackDown's United States Championship was on the line as the number one contender, the one and only Ricochet, took on the leader of the OC, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles has held the gold since November the 19th of last year at Survivor Series, and many believed that the human highlight reel Ricochet would be the kryptonite to Styles' reign with the red, white, blue, and gold. Ricochet threw everything he had at the OC's leader, even a 630 that we all thought was gonna end it. But unfortunately for Ricochet, his lights were turned off with one emphatic, phenomenal forearm, leading AJ Styles to retain the United States Championship in AT&T Stadium. Well, Ricochet took to X earlier this week and had this to say, he said, WrestleMania was a heartbreaking night, but I won't let one loss keep me down. Winning the United States Championship is top of my priority list, and I will stop at nothing to earn another shot. Ricochet has been on the rise month in and month out here on SmackDown. The US Championship is his goal. Ricochet has knocked down barriers time and time again, but will he be able to knock down barriers like AJ Styles to win the United States title? We will find out in due time if Ricochet is able to earn another shot at the Phenomenal One, but we are back inside the Wells Fargo Center here in Philadelphia. 
And it is time for some cruiserweight action as Wesley has made his way down the aisle. And you want to talk about wondering if anybody's feeling 100% after WrestleMania two weeks ago. But look no further than the cruiserweight division and the six men that competed in that ladder matchup for the cruiserweight title of the world. Ilya Dragunov retaining his title back in at and Stadium and was in action just two days ago on Velocity on TikTok. Unfortunately, a victory over Axiom was not to be celebrated thanks to the actions of this man, the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. Let's take you back to 48 hours ago, the debut of Velocity, exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Ilya Dragunov one-on-one -on -one with Axiom. It was an incredible matchup on both sides of the ring. Dragunov pulling out all the stops to get victory. Unfortunately, the celebration was short-lived thanks to the hands of the devil inside, J.D. McDonough, who ambushed Dragunov from behind. Look at this, the use of a steel chair, and then just to make matters worse, J.D. McDonough, that deadly headbutt and Saido combination that he loves to implore on top of that very steel chair. J.D. McDonough making his intentions loud and clear. A man who has challenged for the Cruiserweight Championship over the last couple of months. He has been on the tail of the Mad Dragon since the month of December. Things may not have gone J.D. McDonough's way yet, but clearly J.D. is not done with Ilya Dragunov. I'll tell you what, as much as McDonough may attack Ilya Dragunov, because that certainly wasn't the first time he did so, as much as he may want another Cruiserweight Championship opportunity, he has had opportunities in the past, not once, not twice, but three times if you count WrestleMania. JD McDonough is going to have to get some W's inside of the ring if he wants to challenge the Czar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. But I'll tell you, do not look past Wes Lee here tonight. A man who has stepped inside the squared circle with Ilya Dragunov over the last couple of months on SmackDown. And I'm sure a man who would love a singles opportunity for himself to challenge for the Cruiserweight title. Both of these men really starting at the drawing board after coming up short in the ladder matchup back on WrestleMania Saturday. And what a ladder match it was. Ilya Dragunov continuing on his reign as champion, but tonight is an opportunity, whether you like J.D. McDonough or not, and I'm sure you love Wesley. It's an even playing field, and only a victor tonight can move one step closer to a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. The action has been heavy all week long in the season opener on Monday Night Raw, on Velocity on TikTok, and here on Friday Night SmackDown. And the action set to continue in the Giants Center, Hershey, Pennsylvania, this coming Monday night as Cora Jade is set for a one-on-one -on -one non-title opportunity against the WWE Women's Champion herself, Liv Morgan. That is coming your way this Monday night on Raw. Look at J.D. McDonough imploring a big-time moonsault off the middle rope moments ago. J.D. McDonough's got all the tools to be a champion, but he hasn't been able to put it together when he's in the ring with Dragunov. He has made the Mad Dragon furious time and time again and has really come back to bite J.D. McDonough if I say so myself. Took on Dragunov one-on-one -on -one back on SmackDown New Year's Revolution, the first SmackDown of 2024. They met in a rematch at the Elimination Chamber in Miami, Florida back at the end of January. And then of course they were both involved in the same contest at WrestleMania, but J.D. McDonough is still not satisfied. He is obsessed with trying to win the Cruiserweight title. McDonough's gotta get the job done one time or another, but he's not gonna get that opportunity if Wesley's got anything to say about it. Wesley wants his own shot, one-on-one, -on -one for the title that Dragunov holds. And a Canadian destroyer may not have gotten the three count, but it's gonna get Wesley one step closer to victory, I assure you, here tonight in Philadelphia. Both these men leaving it all inside the squared circle as they need to. And J.D. McDonough turning the tables. Double stomp right to the rib cage. J.D. McDonough is so vicious, so vile inside of that squared circle. Cold-blooded at times. They don't call him the devil for nothing. 
McDonough looking to break out on the scene once and for all in 2024. Now that a new season has officially begun, this could be the year of the Iris Ace. Wesley feeling the brunt of J.D. McDonough's attack right now. McDonough heading to the top. The hell's he got in mind here? Moonsault! Another one in this contest, and that was picture perfect if I say so myself. Wesley able to survive, but for how much longer? And McDonough going for it again, but went to the well one too many times. Worked out once, worked out a second, not to be on the third. Could have been a three there as Wesley almost snuck the victory. Wesley, former NXT Tag Team Champion, been on the main roster for quite some time, and Wesley has always had one goal in mind, winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Could 2024 be the year and the season that Wesley accomplishes his goal? Meteor in the corner. Now the tides have shifted. It's Lee on the top. Oh, my goodness. Double boots to the rib cage. J.D. McDonough, he might have been better off just laying down for the three count there. That was a vicious maneuver by the young yet hungry Wesley. J.D. McDonough just trying to get Lee off his back. The action back and forth. And wait a minute here. Headbutt Saito. J.D. McDonough telling Wesley and the rest of the world to never bet against an ace. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. The match is over. JD McDonough. The bell has sounded. McDonough's got the victory, but he's not done. On the outside, laying out Wesley. McDonough made a statement 48 hours ago when he ambushed the cruiserweight champion Ilya Dragunov. And now, after victory over Wesley, is looking to send yet another loud and clear message, I am sure, straight to the mad dragon. Wesley of trying to avoid that steel chair. Oh no. Oh no. Just as it was on velocity. Headbutt Saito. The devil inside is coming out to play. McDonough laying waste to Wesley. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. Well, we are just two weeks removed from WrestleMania, and it is still making the headlines all across WWE.com, including Roman Reigns' return, the events from Monday Night Raw in Madison Square Garden in this past week, and so much more on the road to the WWE Draft, and of course, Backlash, April the 13th. But we want to take you right now to an exclusive interview with the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre just two days ago on WWE.com, where he had this to say. After speaking with Drew McIntyre and asking him about where he goes next after losing to Gunther at WrestleMania, McIntyre was adamant about getting one more shot to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship, even going as far to say, and I quote, if Roman Reigns thinks he's just going to walk back in here after over two years away and get a world title shot, he better rethink his game plan. Anyone, including Roman Reigns, that wants a shot at Gunther is going to have to go through me to get it. McIntyre might have come up short at WrestleMania, but he has not done in his pursuit of the ring general Gunther and not done in his pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship. But we still got so much to come live here tonight in the Wells Fargo Center. 
And this man, victorious on WrestleMania Sunday, looking to keep that momentum alive and possibly start his road to challenging the ring general Duther once again inside the squared circle, but this time for the big gold belt for the World Heavyweight Championship. Is that something that is in the future of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes' opportunity to main event WrestleMania was taken away by the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Orton put him on the shelf for upwards of a month. Cody Rhodes looking to bury those demons of the past, and he did so on WrestleMania Sunday. A huge victory over Apex Predator, over Randy Orton, and now Cody Rhodes looks to kick off a new season with a new purpose. Cody Rhodes, speaking to WWE.com also earlier this week, said he is looking to win championship gold once again here on SmackDown. You gotta believe he was alluding to the World Heavyweight Championship. Cody Rhodes, not the only one a part of the blue brand who was victorious just two weeks ago in AT&T Stadium. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, from Breaker. This certified badass Braun Breaker went one-on-one -on -one at the Hall of Famer, the rated R superstar Edge. In a match that many speculated may have been Edge's last hurrah. Edge gave it all he had. Beat Braun Breaker from pillar to post. But you gotta give credit where it's due. The young, hungry Braun Breaker needed to defeat Edge back at WrestleMania to solidify himself as a player here on Friday Night SmackDown. And that's exactly what the badass did in Dallas, Texas. Braun Breaker debuted on the blue brand one year ago this month. He went one-on-one -on -one with Cody Rhodes back in September for the United States Championship. Failed to win the gold. Challenged for the world title in 2023. Failed to obtain that championship. A lot of ups and downs for Braun Breaker over the last 12 months since debuting on Friday Night SmackDown. But could that victory over Edge at WrestleMania be the catalyst that takes Braun Breaker to the next level once and for all here in Philadelphia on Friday night? All remains to be seen. The bell has sounded Braun with another huge opportunity, taking on the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. An all-star collision, if I say so myself, on what has been an action-packed night here in the Wells Fargo Center. Oh, yeah. Braun Breaker coming out hot over Cody Rhodes. Both these men riding a high off victories at WrestleMania. Will that momentum continue here tonight? A lot of... Superstars in the SmackDown locker room got their eyes on the ring general right now, the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther. Gunther retained that title over Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Confronted by Roman Reigns, who will be here in Philadelphia coming up next. Then you got guys like Braun Breaker, guys like Cody Rhodes. Many superstars in that SmackDown locker room eyeing up a chance to dance with the ring general and try to obtain the World Heavyweight Championship. A lot of questions regarding who is going to do so next. Of course, the next time we come your way for a major live premiere event, Saturday night, April the 13th in San Juan, Puerto Rico for Backlash, you got to wonder who is going to stand across the ring from Gunther on that night. Could very well be one of these two gentlemen, depending on how the ship sails. Braun Breaker dominating after the opening bell and looking for the kill early. My goodness. Breaker with a spear. This thing's going home in just the first few moments. Not just yet, Cody Rhodes with a shoulder up. Braun Breaker leaving no stone unturned. Immediately going for the kill tonight. Going for the victory. Trying to make some noise here on Friday Night SmackDown. 
These two men familiar with each other's game. Not their first rodeo inside the ring with each other. Breaker recognizing the superstar that is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes trying to get the job done early. Easier said than done when you're in there with a motivated American Nightmare who's riding high off a of victory over the man who was once his mentor, Randy Orton, back at WrestleMania. These two men jockeying for position. It looks like Cody Rhodes is going to be the best of them. Verna Breaker! Cover on Breaker! Not just yet. My goodness, Rhodes and Braun. Full head of steam like two bulls running at each other. So much action on hand in the middle of this main event matchup. So much action going to be on hand Saturday night, April the 13th in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. And of course, still to come here in the Wells Fargo Center, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, addresses the WWE Universe for the first time since his WrestleMania return less than two weeks ago. Cody Rhodes. Back in control of this matchup after Braun Breaker was in full focus in the early moments. Cody looking to shift the tides off the top and to the outside. Cody Rhodes has never, ever been afraid to throw caution in the wind if it means success. Well, there may not be any titles on the line, no top contendership on the line, but when you're in there with another all-star caliber superstar, on a brand that you house, Friday Night SmackDown, you know there's some ego involved. You know that these two superstars want this victory more than ever. Cody on top, Breakers in prime position in the drop zone, and here comes the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes, a house of fire on Bra Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton. Or is it, he's not even coming. It was just an attack. It was just a distraction. Randy Orton turning Cody Rhodes back. Braun Breaker with the press slam. What the hell is going on? We apologize for the disruption, but Braun Breaker certainly does not de apologize for the victory. In a matter of moments, this all-star collision coming to a screeching halt. Cody Rhodes may have defeated Randy Orton at WrestleMania, but seemingly Randy Orton is not done with the American Nightmare. To the victors goes the spoils. Braun Breaker taking advantage of the distraction and a monumentous victory for the badass. Well, the aftermath from WrestleMania is certainly playing out before our very eyes. And one of the biggest matches that took place back at AT&T Stadium was the SmackDown meeting of Raquel Rodriguez and Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Championship. Raquel Rodriguez has been red hot over the last couple of months, winning the Elimination Chamber to earn her opportunity in her home state of Texas at WrestleMania. And many a time throughout this matchup, we thought Raquel was going to be leaving as the brand new women's world champion. But many have began to call Shayna Baszler the forever champ, the inevitable of the women's division. Just when you think she's down, Shayna Baszler continues to turn away the best opponents and Baszler leaving WrestleMania still the women's world champion. The Queen of Spades sits comfortably at the top of the Queendom on Friday night. But who is going to be next to challenge Shayna Baszler? In just two weeks, live here on Friday Night SmackDown, Shotzi, Zelina Vega, Io Sky, Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair, and Raquel Rodriguez will compete in a gauntlet match. The winner goes on to Backlash to challenge Shayna Baszler for the women's World Championship. That's two weeks from tonight here on SmackDown. What about next Friday night? We've been talking a lot about the World Heavyweight Champion, the Ring General Guther. Well, for the first time since WrestleMania, Guther is going to be live and in living color in action next week as he goes one on one with Latino World Order member, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar.
But for the first time in over two years, and for the first time since his massive return at WrestleMania, the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, has arrived. Live here in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, after a return that changed the landscape of Friday Night Smackdown forever. Roman Reigns walks down the aisle with an address in mind not only to the masses, but to one man specifically, the man who has ruled on Smackdown with an iron fist, the leader of Imperium, the Ring General, Gunther. And it is a meeting, a clash of titans, on these dangerous battlegrounds awaiting between Gunther and Roman Reigns for the World Heavyweight Championship. A lot of superstars, many of egos clashing over who's gonna be next in line to stand across the ring from Gunther on Saturday night, April the 13th for the World Heavyweight Championship at Backlash. And it very well could be that man Roman Reigns getting on the jet and making a trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'll tell you, this is how you bring a conclusion to what has been an amazing opening week to kick off the 2024-2025 WWE season. Roman Reigns, whoa! What the hell? Drew McIntyre! A Claymore kick to Roman Reigns. What the hell is going on? Roman Reigns came out here to address the WWE Universe with a microphone in hand. Drew McIntyre is here in Philadelphia. And I can't believe McIntyre is on the giving end of an ambush right now. Drew McIntyre ambushing the Tribal Chief. Oh my goodness. You don't gotta do this, Drew. What are you doing? A second Claymore kick. McIntyre said that the line to Gunther starts and ends with the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre taking that extremely literally and taking Roman Reigns return extremely personal. What is gonna happen next on the road to Gunther's next challenger being decided?